So I guess this is it. This is the end of the Endless Runner series. This series got bigger than I expected. Originally I planned it as a short mini-series, but I wanted to cover so many topics and explain how to do these in C++, so that in the end the series turned out to be almost 20 episodes long. This series started by setting up the run character and its character animation blueprint, then got the input handling implemented to be able to jump up, jump down, and switch lanes. After that, it covered the creation of infinite floor tiles and putting obstacles on the lanes. And furthermore, it implemented a character death and life system and showed how to create pickups like coins. And finally, it created UI elements like a hut, pause, game over, and main menu. By implementing and showing all this, a lot of different C++ game framework topics that you might have only known from blueprint scripting were shown. Topics like multicast event handling, which was used to update UI elements, C++ function binding to events that handle inputs or handle UI button events, and functions that will be called once a trigger box is triggered like those from the floor tiles or obstacles when the run character collides with them. And also topics like timers or UMG widget binding were covered intensively. But most importantly, this series showed how to create a game prototype by creating base C++ classes for all the game functionalities and showed how to effectively combine them with blueprints. So I really hope you enjoyed this series as I did creating it for all of you and more importantly that you got a lot of knowledge out of it. I would be happy if you could leave some feedback in the comments, general feedback or feedback like how easy or difficult it was to follow the series would be really helpful. So thank you for being part of this journey. See you in the next series and hopefully on my YouTube channel.